All right, here's a quick video for example eight, which is very similar to example seven, but easier. So I've started by taking the form for this ellipse, the x squared over four plus y squared over nine equals one. And I've changed my terms so that it's x over two squared plus y over three squared equals one. That allows me to just say cosine t is this thing in parentheses squared from that Pythagorean identity, just like in example seven. And then this is sine because this would be sine squared from the Pythagorean identity. So just plain old sine not squared would just be the y over three without the square. Then I go ahead and solve both sides for x and y. I've got my parametric equations. And since this says I'm doing the left half of the ellipse, think about your unit circle, what the left half would mean. And that would simply be from pi halves to three pi halves to get the left side of that ellipse that's centered at zero, zero. So to just sketch a graph of that, just for visual reference, a little better than the one I already sketched. So this ellipse would have a horizontal, a center at zero, zero, and a horizontal distance of two. So we've got um, a vertical distance of three, horizontal distance of two, center at zero, zero. So the orientation of this graph is going from pi halves to three pi halves in this direction. And so that's our parameter for t.